Hey everyone, welcome to Archland and welcome to another edition of Banner Reruns. Um, I have nothing against Banner Reruns. It's just that um, it's more exciting if you have new characters to the game or new heroes. But again, we'll have to we have to have a week in between new characters, which is okay. Okay, but these two, these two. I'm going to be discussing more of them on this update. So let's go over the update details. This is going to be a server maintenance on Wednesday, February 22, which is tomorrow. And the maintenance period is going to be 9 to 10.30. This is a short update. Checking all servers and uh, maintenance rewards is key of divine protection. So for your equipment and advanced sandwich. Okay, uh, probably uh, chicken <laughs> or I don't know. Depends on you, ham and cheese, whatever. So update content. We have um, these two banners here. This is a rate up banner. We had this before, but for um, those who just joined, uh, we had this uh, rate up before. This is actually the second time that they're going to be out i never i wasn't able to catch richard um catch richard i'm gonna not gonna catch Richard. but anyway so this is the i think for me my first time um if i'm gonna summon for this banner i'm going to get richard so richard and erica here they're going to be up until march 7th so richard is an sss SR, not SSS, SSR hero. Um, he is a tank. So far for me, I think he is the best tank for PvP. So we'll go through his kit in a while. So this is your chance to get him with this banner. If you're going, if you want to remain competitive right now in PvP, he is he is actually the best tank that we have for PvP. Only for PvP, okay? So take note of that. But he can he might be useful in PvE, not that much. He's in tier S right now in PvE. But for PvP, he is going to be triple S. Okay. And the next one is going to be Erica here. Um, we actually ha have um very few shooters or archers or what you call them. So Erica is an archer. By the way, uh, Richard is going to be um, water. And Erica is going to be light. Um, and before I forget, guys, I um, just want to say um, if you like the content that I put out, please do help the guy and uh, subscribe to my channel. Because, again, this really helps my channel grow. And let me gauge if um, more or less... Uh, people are interested in this type of game for the channel so thank you very much for you know if you're here if you're watching thank you very much for staying tuned and again um please do subscribe it really helps my channel so back to regular programming um erica by the way again shooter light um erica is tier ss ss in um what do you call this tier ss in pve could be tier ss or tier sss in pvp okay but again um if you ask me um all around for both you go with erica that's because all around you could use her in both pvp and pve while um, richard can only more or less help you more in pvp but i'm saying he's useless in pv he has his niches but again he's more you know he's more um sought after in pvp okay so both of them i'll discuss their kits and why you should get them um at this point uh both of them have good kits if you don't have them uh they might you know they might uh you if, if you get them sorry if you get them they might plug holes in your lineup so again um going back to them later so again both of their banners will be dropping on uh tomorrow up to march 7th so we have a new equipment gathering wishes this one is 
um, this is not going to be your, uh, this is going to be a banner, but not for your exclusive weapon. So these are the selections that you can check there if you want to have a rate up for these equipment. This is simultaneous with the, um, the unique equipment banner, the current one or the mainstay one that we have. Then we have a limited event. Okay, under the nightmare event period is going to be 222 to 314. This is um, so under the night, but this is a a limited time event. So Devil's Card Game is a total of four difficulties. Each difficulty has a different number of stages that can be cleared. The higher the difficulty, the more stages can be cleared. Okay, you can start adventure in a special space by selecting up to three heroes for the first time. Under the Nightmare Challenge, you will encounter various events on your journey and you must overcome various enemies by using artifacts that can enhance the hero's ability. So, similar to the previous events, you'll be selecting artifacts or buffs for your team. Um, and this one, the higher the difficulty level, the more stages clear, the greater number of stimulants that can be obtained. Acquired stimulants, acquired stimulants can be exchanged. For various items in the event shop so it has a separate event shop i'll review this event once this drops tomorrow in addition through event missions and weekly missions you can obtain various rewards such as keys to celestial world diamonds gold event limited badges and more so don't miss on this so added academy uh trial rewards courtesy for explorers so you will gain Two additional rewards each day so this is going to be um, for your academy which actually is going is actually very important in buffing certain classes if you want to focus on your warrior if you want to focus on your priest your mage um this is going to help you with the two additional rewards each day okay so limited packages we have we have a lot of limited packages to aid you just in case if you want to purchase and updated packages are here I don't, don't want to go through all of the packages here. So just check them out tomorrow and see. I'll try to check them out. Probably give you feedback on which ones are going to be good if you plan to get them. Uh, also, we have bug fixes and optimization. So one-time rune-related activities are obtained. Okay, one-time rune-related achievements added. Large amounts of gold can be obtained when achievements are achieved. Uh, I just recently have found out, not I, I found out before, but I actually have felt the pinch in terms of gold. It's really hard to find gold in this game. And whatever you upgrade, there's usually gold. So this one is, is a nice one to add. Bug fixes are here. Improve, this one is improved localization. So typos and more or less uh, these are typos okay so that is it for the for the update i'll go back to these two banners here try to give you a more detailed um understanding whether you should pull for them or not okay so we'll start off with richard here so again as i told you guys richard is is going to be played more in pvp He's going to be useful in some stages for PvE. Usually for PvE, I notice that you need more DPS rather than defense. But for PvP, you really need him. He has a lot to offer you. Um, he has water, which is a... Uh, sorry, he has lightning, which is a very good counter to water, which is dominating PvP right now. So he has here reduced physical damage pushback this one is nice and stun for one turn so again he has a lot to offer you debuffs which which hamper your enemies for one turn pushback and, and stun are very annoying i tell you so also he is a good leader passive one mage and one ranger increase physical attack um, um magic physical defense and magic defense of all eyes by 10 Allies deal 10% damage when there's another ally within two tiles. So easy to use um, Ranger and not really easy to use because I, I think the best Ranger here is going to be Erica. Unless if you have, you know, if you're going to decide to bring other Rangers, it's okay. 
but again the best ranger to equip here is going to be erica so i won't I won't. I will just go through the highlights of his kit. Uh, mostly, it's going to be escort, escort range, counter attack range, which is actually um, plus one, meaning um, two tiles away, not only the one tile in front of him. So two tiles away, he can do counter counter attack, and he has stun. He has what else? So increased physical attack, reduced damage taken, coordinated attacks, uh, counter attack damage increased by 30. Again, he is, he, for me, he is second to Gabriel. Gabriel for me is still overall, but for him, if you're going to be serious about PvP right now, you really need him. Counter attacks are very, very good. As for his weapon... So, when damage received is not critical, shield of the lion and nimble for two turns. So, nimble is going to be plus one mobility, which is nice as well. So, and shield of the lion is plus one percent defense and a physical and a magical defense. It affects stacks up to three times and is removed when critically hit. Okay, so again, a very versatile can be a very, very excellent tank. Um, if you're lacking a tank right now, I seriously tell you that you get a Richard. If you're lacking a very good tank, if you, if you lack Gabriel, definitely go for him. Um, he'll 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 be your best if you don't have Gabriel. Um, if you have, if you do have Gabriel, it's really a toss up whether if you want to invest more in another tank. Um, I'm actually thinking about it, but we'll see tomorrow on who I summon. Can increase the range of escort skills, make a great shield for the team. So again, he has his downside as well. He is versatile. Building him in a hybrid way makes him average. So you have to either you have to concentrate more on building him as really a tank and a defender. Okay, so that is my take. So if you scenario scenarios for him, if you don't have a tank, then go for him. If you have Gabriel, probably it's a 50-50 toss-up if you're going to get him. Me, I'm 50-50 because I have Gabriel. Probably if I had Erica, I would summon for him, but I don't have Erica as well. So I'm leaning towards Erica in, in, in a while, and, a sh and I'll tell you why. So again, um, he's still good. He's still second to the best tank that we have. But again, if you don't have him, get him period because you'll need a tank in you know in pvp and pve so again guys uh, that is it um please tell me down in the comment section if you're choosing him over erica and we move on to our next okay so we have here erica so erica is a ranger best ranger that we have so she is ss in pve probably ss also in pvp or even sss I still have to make my tier list. So I've seen the evolution of Erica and her use and how important she is to the game, especially for PvP, especially for scenarios wherein um, you need to kill off only two opponents for PvP. She is really you you're gonna you're gonna hate her, I tell you, because of her range, because of her damage. Um, so unique passive, so increase attack. So you get her as an assassin, okay? So vulnerability minus 20 physical damage reduction. She has precision, she has uh, defense penetration, she has increased physical attack, she has what else? Reduce one random stat. And this one is basically what what I'm saying, guys, is she hits hard for single targets. She can be your far away assassin if you'd like to. So when an ally uh, attacks an enemy, we do the increased damage done by that ally by 20%. So she gives buffs as well. So again, she is all around. Con convert two buffs into random debuffs on target and deal 155 damage as well so she has, she has buff conversion to debuff on your enemies and for her exclusive weapon so after using the active attack gain triple threat for two turns plus one range 
So active attack, meaning your regular attack. So she gains uh, triple threat. So she she lengthens her distance in terms of range and plus two physical attack and critical chance. So very, very nice kit. Um, she's the only shooter right now that is going to help you. The rest are not going to be a factor on your team. So for her pros, great single target damage, converts buffs to uh, debuffs, really high range, light element makes her flexible, ease of light. She, so she doesn't have any weaknesses with, with water, fire, and lightning. Lacks a bit of AoE, but for me, I, I don't think this is really um, relevant. To unlock her full potential, you need to get her unique weapon, which is a must, I may say. So she doesn't have too much of a con. She has a lot of upside. That is why I think I'm going with her instead of uh, Richard. I do have Gabriel, so I think I'm going with Erica at, at this point. I need somebody to fill a shooter slot, which I don't have. Uh, I did have Brown before, but again, <laughs> Brown is not really useful in... Again, not really useful for you know towards the end game. So I'm going with Erica. Um, we'll see tomorrow. We'll see if I am up to it. I still do lack um, a couple of summoning tokens, and we'll see tomorrow um, on my pull for Erica if I do push through with that. So I hope I was able to make your you know, help you make the decision whether to pull or not, whether who to choose. Both of them are good, are very good actually, but it really depends on what your priorities are, what roster slot do you need to fill, what role do you need to fill, uh, which content you prioritize, whether PvP or PvE. Again, it's up to you. I already shared to you my, you know, my thoughts, and hopefully this video helped. Again, guys, please do consider subscribing because. This helps my channel a lot. So thank you. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.